uh, one of the more common questions that I get is to uh, uh, find out how we use technology to find the p-value using the student's t-distribution. Uh, keep in mind if we uh, can use the normal distribution, we can always use um, the standard normal distribution tables to easily find the p-value, but that's not the case with the student's t-distribution uh, because we have various degrees of freedom involved. So let's start to take a look at the problem. We can figure out how to uh, use technology to find the p-value. So here's an example. Let's use technology, and by that we mean our graphing calculator, to find the p-value for a right-tailed test, and in this case the sample size is 28 and the test statistic is 2.522. So, um, uh, so uh, we're using the student's t-distribution, sample size is 28, test statistic is 2.522, so keep in mind what we want to find out here. I drew a little graph here so we can see what we're looking for. We're actually looking for since it's a right tail test, we're looking for this area to the right of the test statistic on the t distribution. So uh, here's our test statistic right here, 2.522, uh, you know, about halfway between 2 and 3, and this red area that you see represents the p-value. So the area represents the p-value here. So let's figure out how we're going to do that now. So what we want to do is to use our graphing calculator and get to the distribution menu. Now we've used this menu before when we talked about uh, discrete probability distributions, uh, when we computed the uh, Poisson distribution and the binomial distribution. We can also do this with the T distribution as well. So the command that we want to use is the cumulative distribution function, that's CDF, for the T distribution. So tcdf is the command, meaning the cumulative distribution function for the t-distribution. And so notice the format. Um, we have tcdf, left parenthesis, the left endpoint. In that case, it's in, in our case here, in this example, it's 2.522. Then the right endpoint, well, in this case, it's really infinity because we're looking for all the area to the right of this uh, test statistic T. And then finally we want to put in the degrees of freedom. And if you remember the degrees of freedom is, is, is always exactly one less than the sample size. So uh, I put in a note here. Uh, you, you know you can't put in infinity and negative infinity in your calculator. So what I usually do is I usually use negative uh, 1000 to represent negative infinity and 1000 to represent infinity. Now I know those numbers are, are you know large are, are uh, uh, very small compared to you know growing without bound infinity but keep in mind what these numbers mean. By a thousand I mean 1000 standard deviations to the right of the mean. So they'll always find our area uh, um, uh, within uh, six significant digits no matter what uh, uh, T value we have. So let's go ahead and, and so let's think about what we want to do here. Our, our left end point is 2.522, the right end point is 1000, 1000 standard deviations to the right of the mean, and let's look up at the problem here. The degrees of freedom will be 27 because the uh, sample size is 28. So let's call up our calculator here now. and let's go ahead and start to do the computation. So we hit the second key on our calculator and then the VARS key that gets to that distribution menu and notice here that option 6 is that TCDF command that we talked about. So I just go ahead and hit the number 6. You could also go, di go down and uh, scroll down and highlight that and hit enter if you'd like. So remember, our we want to put in our left endpoint first. So that's two point five two two, and then a comma. That's just above the seven. And then our right endpoint, and we'll go ahead and put in one thousand. 
then another comma, and then our degrees of freedom, and that is 27. Close the parentheses. Now if we hit enter, Uh, we go ahead and we get the output now. So we see that the p-value for a right-tailed test with um, 28 uh, for the sample size and a test statistic of 2.522 would be, what, 0 0.0089 and our convention here is to round those two uh, p-values to four decimal places so we'd write 0 0.0089 for that. So that's how we can find um, uh, the p-value using the student's t-distribution using our graphing calculator.